this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you whether you are crazy or not. Understanding this part of spiritual awakening that a lot of people misinterpret and understanding the truth about this whole process. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the truth on whether you are crazy or not and some of these things that may come up during the spiritual awakening process Understanding what's going on, why you're feeling the way you do, and how you can push through that. Now, last night, I'm here in uh, Los Angeles right now. Lior and Isabel, uh, who are both YouTubers, Lior Alexandra, Isabel Palacios, they both did an event. And when they did this event, I was part of their meet and greet, so I went and met some of the people that were at this event. And I got asked this question like three times over the course of about 20 minutes. And people were asking questions, you know, it was really cool, but it was this one question that came up. And it was people saying that they felt crazy from going through a spiritual awakening. And asking me, do you ever feel like, you know, you're crazy for going through it? Or how do you not feel crazy? So in that moment, that after like the second one, and then the third one happened, I was like, okay, I gotta make a video on this. It's something that maybe normally I wouldn't really um, normally I wouldn't make a video on, you know, a spiritual awakening, am I crazy? It's not necessarily something that I, I normally am thinking about. Um, not that I'm not normally thinking about it, but it's just not necessarily the title that I would, I would put in on YouTube. Um, but nonetheless, I think it is important. So what happens when we go through our spiritual awakening and what happens when I went through my spiritual awakening is in 2012, I went through it and I thought that the, like it was a whole new reality to me. You go your whole entire life with living a certain way, with thinking that you are a certain way, and then all of a sudden what happens is you have this new perspective, this new understanding of who you are. And even to this day, sometimes I listen to music that I listened to back in 2012, and it brings me back to that expansion feeling. And this feeling that reality is different than what I thought, and it's like a whole new reality. And at the other side of that though, there was experiences that I had where there were friends and family that thought I went crazy. They were like, you know, when you go from one way and you go to another way, and it's completely different than the way you've been your whole entire life, I see how to some people that may look crazy. I went from having ADHD, going to a nine to five job, liking to smoke and drink a lot, to all of a sudden being somebody that meditated all day, that was doing mantras, Somebody that liked to like go lay down on the, go lay down outside in dirt and to ground myself. I was then talking about ascension and how in this lifetime we're meant to go through this physical, emotional, mental ascension process, raising vibration. And it was so out of left field for people that many people, people that I hung out with my whole life thought that there's something, you know, so what's going on with Aaron over there? <laughs> I totally get it too, now that I look back at it going from one way to another. In fact, even people in my family were like, What's, what is going on? Is he on drugs? What is he doing? So then you start looking around and you start relating to people differently. And you start to relate and you start to say, well, I'm not passionate about this anymore. You know, I went from smoking weed to completely stopping that. So it's like, what's going on there? Drinking to cold turkey, stop drinking. What's going on there? So it was a drastic change and because of that then it looks on the outside like even even on the inside it just looks like there's something that happened and when other people perceived of me if i were to agree which i did for a long time i thought maybe maybe i am crazy maybe there is something going on i started to develop this resistance around the way that people thought about me and I went through a period of probably about six months where I felt pretty lonely, to be honest with you. I felt like people didn't get me. I felt like, I, I guess I kind of expected everyone to understand because I was so passionate about it. And um, I wanted other people to get on board too. I'm like, listen, we all came here to go through this ascension. We've just forgotten, blah, blah, blah. But then you share it with people. They're like, okay, bro, like that's not their experience. They're not there yet, you know? So then they think it's crazy. You can kind of feel that too. I remember telling people and I thinking they'd be excited and they really weren't excited at all. They were just kind of like, dude, like, can you stop whatever you're doing? You know? 
And then you look around and you, you kind of may look at you and be like, well, I'm the one person that's different than everyone else. Maybe I am crazy. And maybe this is all something I'm just making up in my head. Maybe this is all something that just my imagination is thinking of and it's stuff that just feels good to think about. So I'm going to go ahead and buy into it. However, the further down the process you go, the more you realize that who you were before was somebody that was asleep. Most of our lives we live in this autopilot mind thinking that we are what our senses are. We think we are what's happening to us. We think we are our environment. And until we wake up, we remain in a deep sleep. 90% or more of people on the planet are in a deep sleep and they're not even aware of it. However, what's happening now on the planet is more and more people have the awareness and the ability to wake up. And it's happening quicker than ever and there's more and more people jumping on board than ever before. I remember back like ten, five, six, seven years ago, less, there, there weren't nearly as many people that are awake right now. And you can look to like YouTube channels to see spiritual YouTube channels continue to grow. There's more of a demand for it because more people are going through the process. So for this, it's about understanding that if you are awake right now and asking yourself, am I crazy? It's because you agreed to come here to wake up first. We spread out in different families. Wouldn't it have been, wouldn't it have been convenient if we all just woke up in like the same soul, in the same family and we all just got it? But that didn't seem to happen. We sprinkled ourselves out with families and friends that maybe aren't there yet so that we could plant seeds for them to then wake up. Even if they think we're crazy for a while or whatever it is, our energy alone influences people in subconscious ways. So we chose families, we chose friends, we chose all of this so that we could have the greatest amount of impact on society. Because even through just energy, it changes, at a, it changes people at a subconscious level. So when you are realizing that you are the one person that is pretty different than everyone else, I'm very different. Maybe I'm the crazy one. There can then be a tendency to look in and be like, maybe this is all made up. Maybe I'm just crazy. But that's kind of like taking score too soon. It's taking score too soon when the movie's not over yet. Because what's really happening is many people are in a deep sleep. You are the first to wake up. There are other people around you that are also woken up. Like just like this event that there was yesterday where I was that meet and greet, there was like 30 other people there. And some people feel like they're crazy, yet there's, there's 20 something other people there that are also going through the same thing. And there'll be events, there's events as well, where there'll be thousands of people that are awake. And it'll be like you look around and you have these festivals, you have these things going on where there's many, many, many thousands and millions of people on the planet that are waking up. It's just that we're spread out so we feel crazy. But the truth is we're not crazy, we're just waking up. If you're going through a spiritual awakening right now and you feel crazy, no, you're just waking up. It's just a part of the process of awakening. The more aware you se of yourself you become, the more you realize that the old way of being was the autopilot mind and it was just playing itself out over and over and over again. And then what you may be doing is taking score too soon, thinking everyone else around me isn't necessarily awake, so maybe there's something wrong with me. But you see, you chose to become awake at this time to help plant seeds with other people. And as time goes on, more and more people will wake up, so you will feel less crazy. But nonetheless, it's about waking up to who you are and trusting this process. Part of the process of awakening is thinking that maybe I am crazy. Maybe there is something going on. But the more you, you go deeper within yourself, the more you realize that in a non-judgmental way, most people are so caught up in their own worlds, so caught up in the autopilot mind, they're the ones that are crazy. You see, these are dangerous words to get involved with because then we develop an ego or we develop a, a hierarchy. Like, you're asleep. I'm awake. That's a spiritual ego. That happened to me when I went through my awakening. I was then so resistant towards everyone that was thinking that I was crazy, not understanding me, that I was like, these people are all asleep. They don't understand. 
And I started to then develop this belief that like, people just aren't awake, people just don't get me. Well, guess what? I wasn't able to attract people into my life that like friends that got me or people or whatever because I had that belief. But once I let that belief go, I started to resonate with more and more people that could resonate with me. So this is all a process of awakening and just know you chose to be in a family or in a group of friends or whatever it is because you had the most ability to influence those people to wake up to plant seeds. You might not just be aware of it. However, more and more people are waking up on the planet. So there'll come a day when we could say, we're not crazy, we're all good. we all got each other. But it's about really going within and going within your heart center to see what is true. Not necessarily the mind, but the heart. I was telling some of the people at the event about this thing, it's from the Law of One. The Law of One is some of the best, most profound channel of material of all time. And it's from this uh, group called Ra. I am Ra. And in the channeling, they talk about this. There's something in our reality called the law of confusion. The law of confusion is where we get just enough amount of information for us to have faith and for us to like investigate reality, but not enough to where it's actually black or white where this is the way reality is. So the truth in reality is all truths are true. Whatever we believe to be true is going to be what we get reflected back to us. But this law of confusion is there so that we forget who we are, so that we have to remember who we are, but also so that we have faith in this process of spiritual awakening. A lot of things are non-physical. Non-physical energy, auric fields. There's a reason not everything is physical and solid. And this law of confusion gives us the ability to have this experience of esoteric. To have this experience of going deeper within ourselves. So this is a part of the process. And it's called the law of confusion and that really resonates with me because we had to get just enough information for us to move forward with spiritual awakening and with going deeper within ourselves and understanding non-physical energy, but not, not too much to where then it, it's just black and white. It does become kind of black and white the more you go within yourself, but it's understanding things in life are also more gray. Depends on your perspective. And the more that you embrace this process in general, the easier this process becomes. So when you're also, sometimes what happens is we are looking to the outside for validation. Asking ourselves, am I crazy is a comparison play because we're looking to the outside for people that think similarly to us. And if they don't think similarly to us, then we think that we are the crazy ones. But you see, we chose to come into a reality where most people from a certain perspective could be seen as crazy. If you were a higher dimensional race and you came, imagine this, you're a higher dimensional race, you came and you look at planet earth. You've got all these people that have forgotten who they are, that are fighting with each other over some imaginary line in the sand, people that are killing each other when they're all one consciousness, but they don't know that. So they're fighting with each other. They're calling each other different based on the color of their skin. They're doing all of these things because they've forgotten that they're eternal spiritual beings having temporary human experiences. And then people say, why don't ETs land? Why don't they land? Well, looking at earth in a non-judgmental way, I mean this with love, it would look like we're all crazy from a social conditioning, like look at everybody that's fighting, that's going through all of these things, that's completely forgotten who they are at deeper levels. That in of itself would look like an insane asylum. And would ETs want to land in an insane asylum and even that an insane asylum with people that have guns? You see, when we're asking ourselves going through the spiritual awakening process, are we crazy? It's all relative. Because if you look at people who've forgotten who they are, who are fighting other people, when those other people are other versions of themselves, but they don't remember that, that to me is a little more crazy than somebody that's starting to feel non-physical energy and starting to go within themselves and starting to have these, these amazing experiences. But it's all relative. So am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. You're just waking up. And if people aren't around you to validate who you are and 
understand that you have an online community as well. You're here watching a YouTube video from some spiritual YouTuber's channel, but there's many other people that are watching this video. However many views you see on this video, those are the people that are watching this video. So you're not alone. So understand that as well. There may be a virtual community that you have for a while, but then eventually, maybe you move and you start to see people in your reality. But let go of the beliefs of believing that people just aren't awake. Let go of the beliefs of thinking you're cra you're not crazy, you're just waking up. Don't also at the same time develop this judgment like everyone else is asleep, everyone else is crazy because then we create separation. Just drop the word crazy. Just everyone's at their different level of consciousness. And they're waking up more and more. And you came here as a light warrior. You came here to wake up first because that's gonna help other people wake up. So embrace your role. You're not crazy, you're just waking up. Now, I have more videos coming out about coming out about stuff like this. If you want to see those videos, the way YouTube does things now is you you won't actually see my daily YouTube videos unless you hit the notification bell. So hit the subscribe button below and then push the notifications so that you can see my daily videos in your feed. I'm going to be making more videos on spiritual awakening, on ascension, on many different things. So you can subscribe below and see those there. What is your experience with feeling crazy in the spiritual awakening process? Leave it below and you'll see we're not you're not alone. We all go through this process, but trust this process and know that it's a very empowering thing. Change the meaning you're giving it and then you will get a positive effect out of it. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification gear so you can see the daily vids that I do. Other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.